Hello everyone, we will continue the topic how to display data of more than 128 characters in ALV for a particular column. And as a part of that, in the previous video, we finished up to binding the employee ID with the screen employee ID with the screen field. Now we need to go for feedback. If I will run the already developed program and I will explain what exactly we want to do. I will give the input. Suppose I'm getting the output. If I will click on to this hotspot or hyperlink. So we have the container. Yes, we created the container. Inside the container, we have text added. Now we need to bind the text with the text added. If you remember when we simply displayed the ALV using CLGUI ALV grid class, at that time we used the method set table for first display. This method is used to bind the data with the field catalog. Now we need to look for the method. That method will bind or set the text with this text added. So I will simply go for this particular class and we will see which method is used to bind the text or set the text. So if I will double click on to this class, now I will go for find. Suppose I will simply search for set underscore text. And we have a method here, set underscore text underscore as underscore R3 table. This method we will use to bind the text or set the text with the text edit. Now this method is a instance method. You all know whenever you have an instance method, you can call the method through the object. So do we have the object of this particular class? Yes, we already created the object. So we will simply, simply call this method. So I will simply call this method. I will go to pattern button. I will go to a path object patterns. Now I will give the instance. What is the instance? Hello underscore text. Now, what is the class? CLGUI text edit. Now, I will choose the method. I will scroll down and I will choose the method. We have the method set underscore text as R3 table. I will go for OK. The best practices. We should always, always uncomment the exception. Now, now I will uncomment this exporting. You can see exporting, we have the one parameter exporting name is table. Here it is exporting. It means into this particular method, it will, it, here it is exporting. It means in this particular method, it will be importing. If I will go for yes, you can see this parameter is of type standard table. SAP simply declared as a generic, generic type. The standard table is a generic type and it is a internal table, internal table. Now just see your feedback, your feedback, your feedback is in LWA underscore data hyphen that particular column. In that we are getting the feedback. But here, this particular method is accepting the internal table. You all know very, very well how you can pass that data from work area to internal table using append statement. Do not pass the work area directly. System will throw the runtime error. Yes, because this parameter is accepting the internal table. Yes. SAP has chosen a generic type standard table, but it means it will be any type of internal table, but it will accept internal table only. 
but your feedback is in work area that particular column so how how you will pass from work area to internal table or how you will insert from or how you will append from work area to internal table using append statement so firstly i will declare an internal table and i will simply append the feedback from the work area to internal table i will simply create an internal table of one column feedback types i am writing begin off suppose i am writing lty underscore feedback i will took the column name for the feedback i will take same as that of table this is the table this is our feedback type data element of feedback I will end this particular structure. Now I will declare the internal table. Data LT underscore feedback type table of LTY underscore feedback. Now from the work area, I will simply append to this internal table. So now you all know we have the this is our internal table operation append. So I will write append work area hyphen employee feed to LT underscore feedback. Now I will clear this particular work area. Clear. LWA underscore data. Hyphen employee feed. You can clear the whole work area also. Anyways, I am just clearing the single column. Employee feed. Now your data is in this internal table. You can pass this internal table. Because this is of standard table. SAP has chosen a generic type. Generic type means we can pass internal table of any type. Any type. Now our internal table has only one column. So now I will check the syntax. And I will activate up to this level. So we simply, simply binded the feedback also with this particular, we, we, we simply binded or we simply set the text. Our text is feedback with that particular text added. Now, before we understand the output in the debugging mode, we will go for few more changes also. Suppose if I'm going for this particular program, I am running this program. Now I will go for employee ID 125. I will click on to this hyperlink suppose. See feedback is coming. Employee ID is not coming. We will check because we will identify this in debugging. It will increase our debugging skills. Okay. Now just see. As of now, none of this button is working. None of this button is working. Because we created our own screen. This is our own screen. So these buttons will not work. If you want these buttons to work, if you want these SAP buttons to work, you need to write the logic in PAI of the screen. Because you all know whenever you will perform the action, process after input will trigger or it is totally your wish. If you do not want to go for SAP functions, you can create your own GUI status and in that you can simply write your code also. Suppose we will create our own GUI status and in that GUI status, I will simply, simply create a cancel button. Suppose if I will show you what we want to do. If I will run the already developed program. 
we will simply simply create our own GUI status. You can see none of the SAP button is there. Our app button is there only this and it is taking back me to the previous screen. So we will go for this particular thing. Now, if you want these buttons to work, you can simply, simply write the logic in PAI. In that case, there is no need to create your own GUI status. So it is totally your wish how you want to go. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered the important part. Yes, how to bind that data or how to bind the text with that particular text added, how to set that text with that particular text added. So what we did, we saw in that particular class, we have a method set text as R3 control. We simply, simply call that method. That method is an instance method. So we simply call through the object. But this method is accepting the internal table. So you need to create an internal table and you need to append that data to the internal table. Do not directly pass the work area. System will throw the runtime error. The best part is this particular parameter is SAP has chosen a generic type, generic, a generic standard table type. So you can pass the internal table. And we saw, yes, output is coming for that text, but employee ID is not coming. Anyways, we will check that part also. And But in the next video, we'll firstly create our own GUI status, and then we will look for other parts also. So that's it in this video. Thank you.